So today's video is on rolling my Fendi's. Uh, do you guys know I'm running very aggressive offset uh, 17 by 9 plus 15 and that's usually a 240 size. So um, I do a lot of a lot of rubby dubby uh, whenever I got people in the back or hit bumps. So uh, really tired of that. Uh, my last trial was yesterday when I had the back full and I just every little divot on 95 was a little rub rub. I was like nah. So anyways, um, let me show you guys what you want to have. So obviously the uh, the biggest main thing is the fender roller. Uh, I borrowed this from a friend, thanks Brian, buddy of mine. Um, let me borrow it to use. I don't know how much they go for. Hopefully I'll put that in, the, in that little, little, little thingy right here. Um, how much it is um, but got that got the heat gun extension cord and we've got a jack um, jack stand I'm not too worried about because I'm not really gonna be under the car so I'm just gonna it should be fine we're gonna jack the car up take the wheel off and we're gonna put the fender roller on start heating up the little quarter panel first but yeah all right let's get to it I pretty much just did a little quick little burp burp lug knots on and what this little thing does here is it helps bring this forward this knob helps uh, extend the arm up and down and then this thing just helps with the tilt here so what you want to do is you just want to get it just right to where it's angled properly here and then it'll just start if your fenders aren't rolled yet it'll help roll it and if you got to pull angle it a little bit more so it pulls it out we're just going to go nice and slow when i use the heat gun Gonna heat it up uh, to help just basically soften the metal a little bit and also the paint so it doesn't crack. I mean, it's already screwed up by whoever did it last. They did a poor job, so we're gonna have to do some rust prevention a little bit, but uh, nothing too bad. It's just surface, so. all right so okay um first attempt here you can definitely see a little bit of a flare out which is freaking fantastic now i did crack the paint a little bit i just didn't heat it up enough if you have more patience than i do um and more care you can definitely do a better job than me but the paint was already screwed up so i wasn't too worried about it i'll just fix it myself to prevent the rust but yeah looks like there's a little bit of a flare like i said um let's go over to the passenger side kind of see you see this is kind of like flat ish for the most part it's just rolled um let's see here nothing too crazy but you go down here and uh, a little bit of a flare so yeah i like it looks good every it started to kind of bow in a little bit up here so i think that's honestly as as good as it's gonna get <laughs> so if a rub still oh well i'm gonna leave it there on bolt it put it on the other side and We'll do the front to last, so cool. All right, a little update. Um, I got a last few little pulls uh, to go, so I think I got it. Um, it looks all right, actually. It might be a little bit more than the other side, actually, but uh, the downside is I needed to do the inside here, um, but... <laughs> The fender roller broke. <laughs> I called my buddy and he said it was just a cheap one, like a $30 eBay one or something. So he said, don't worry about it. It, it. He thinks it broke last time and he fixed it. He can't remember. What's funny is his IS too, he had issues on the passenger side as well. So it might be the way, I don't know, the body's constructed on this side. I have no idea. Although if you think about it, uh, in Japan, it's right hand drive. Maybe they make the right side more strong. I'm not sure, but either way. Kind of sucks, but hey, I got the last few pulls to go, so no big deal. Downside is I really need the front done um, because that's where the effed up side is, but it is what it is. I literally just need it pulled a little bit, so we'll, we'll try. If not, we'll just bash it because that, that fender's all screwed up anyway, so. Um, but yeah, let's try it.
All right, I did some banging. This is the best I could do with what I got. No adjustments, so I pretty much just banged this as even as I could. I might go back around and just use this a little bit more just to get it to kind of pull out a little bit long, a little bit more, but that's what I got. At least this is straight because you saw this was bent, so it should work. Other side was already kind of pre-rolled because it came from the time when I bought the wagon bumper. Um, the guy had the fender too. So this one's pretty nicely done. Um, I may not worry about this side at all, really. Once the suspension settles down, we'll do a little, little walk around, but cool deal. Here she is, um, a little close up of the back, but like I said, the front, I didn't really have to do much. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of camber. It does need to flare out a little bit, but it's never rubbed before, so I'm not too worried. Uh, yeah, the front's a little better here. Definitely uh, not hitting there. Um, I did a couple hard turns. Um, a couple spots were like super hard turns and definitely no rubbing, so she's definitely good now. Matter of fact, I may, I may be able to lower it now, which is dope. Um, not that it needs to be lowered, but yeah. Um, it's definitely on the aggressive side, but it's all good. I was just, I really did not want to rub at all, so it is not bad. Now I can definitely go low in the back, lower it a little bit. The only other test I got to do is just have people in the back. Um, probably my parents <laughs> and just see if I can find a couple couple bumps but yeah take your time do it right and I try not to break the tool <laughs> anyways thanks for watching guys see you in the next one